it was uh, tested, I made a film about myself to show approximately my life from 1916 onwards. Uh, most uh, people... Here's Will Reagan, Master Craftsman, and Lawrence, his apprentice. I made this film in the early 1940s. And quite recently, I got a letter from a friend in America. He told me he'd travelled 175 miles to see an English film. The meeting was the American Anti-Tool Correctors Association. And when he got there, it was this film of Coopering. And these men just wanted to see how an English craftsman used these quaint and curious tools. Here are the ATS marching through Burnley. This was Salute the Soldier Week, and we were paying tribute not only to our own soldiers, but to this contingent of Americans. end of the hundred years and to place on record some of the ways in which its citizens celebrated the centenary. Equipment. Sport adds zest to the life of the town. Turf Moor is the home of Burnley Football Club, the famous Clarets. They entered centenary year as Football League champions and during the year reached the semi-finals of the Football Association and the Football League Cups, and also the quarter-finals of the European Cup.
Landlady Justine Lorriman, a season ticket holder at Turf Moor, made a promise back in November last year that if the Clarets, who had just moved into fourth spot in the Premier League, managed to land European football, she would rename the pub to the Royal Deitch after the Clarets manager, Sean Deitch. So I'm just going to hand over to the main man Rocky. I'm going to let him reveal the sign, what everybody's been waiting for. Yes, our man made it home. Radio 1 DJ Jordan North from Burnley came to the attention of the public in 2020 